As with all the graphs, the trig functions can also be changed by the parameters a and q. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the effect that a and q have on the graphs. If we start with the graph y is equal to sine x, and we have a look at the effect of a, so y is equal to a sine x, the a value of the unchanged sine graph is 1, the parent graph. So that means that the, the parent graph for sine x has an amplitude of 1. So whatever the a value is, it tells us what the amplitude of the graph is going to be. So for example, if we are going to sketch the graph y is equal to 2 sine x, that means that the graph won't stretch from negative 1 to positive 1 as it does on the um, parent graph, but it will shift or stretch from negative 2 to positive 2. So all that happens is that the maximum point at 90 stretches to 2, and the minimum point at 270 stretches to negative 2. So changing the A value has the effect of stretching the sine graph. And if we repeat that on this side, the minimum point there will be at negative 2, the maximum point at positive 2. And if we sketch that in, okay, that's what the graph will have a look at. Obviously, you need to have a nice smooth curve. Okay, so the amplitude changes the stretch of the graph. If we were sketching the graph y is equal to a half sine x, we would decrease the amplitude. So instead of it having a maximum point at 90, it would have a maximum point at a half. Instead of having a minimum point at negative 1, it would have a minimum point at negative a half, and the graph would look like that. Okay. The Q value does the same thing to the sine graph that it does to any other graph that you work with, and that is it shifts the graph vertically. Okay, so it's going to shift the graph vertically by whatever the value of Q is. So if we just have a look at that on the cos graph, so if we have a look at the graph y is equal to cos x plus q, the a value has exactly the same effect on the cos graph as it does on the sine graph. So if we want to sketch the graph y is equal to cos of x plus 1, that means we literally pick the entire graph up and move it one unit up. Okay, so each of the points, so instead of having a point at 0 and 1, you'll have a point at 0 and 2. Instead of having a point at 90 and 0, you'll have a point at 90 and 1. Instead of having a point at 180 and negative 1, you'll have a point at 180 and 0, and so on and so on. So you literally move each of the points up, and you translate the whole graph up by the value of Q. If you were sketching the graph y is equal to cos x minus 2, you would then take the original points and move them 2 units down. 1, 2 units down, 2 units down, 2 units down, and uh, 2 units down. And your new cos graph, or the new position of your cos graph, would look like that. And the effect of Q has exactly the same effect on the cos graph as it does on the sine graph. And as I mentioned, the effect of A does exactly what it does to a sine graph. It does the same to a cos graph. It stretches it vertically. If we have a look at the graph Y equals tan X, the effect of A and Q on the tan graph are often a little bit more difficult to see. So if we have a look at Y is equal to tan X plus Q, Let's say, for instance, we wanted to draw the graph 2 tan x plus 1. So we know that multiplying or changing the amplitude to 2 stretches the tan graph, and then it moves it up by 1 unit. So I'm going to consider these two things separately. So on my original tan graph, I have a point at 45 and 1. If I'm sketching 2 tan x, I will have a point at 45 and 2. Zero times itself, zero times any number is still zero, so it still hinges on the x axis. And at negative 45, instead of having a point at negative 1, I will have a point at negative 2. So my graph of 2 tan x will look like that. And you can see that it has been stretched, it's been pulled up from its original point. Now, if we want 2 tan x plus 1, we shift those points up by one unit. So we translate the whole graph up by one unit, and it will look like that. Okay. 
So that is the graph y is equal to 210x plus 1.